Hello and welcome again YouTube. So today we're going to be cleaning a CPU block. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick rundown on how that works. We've got a bits power CPU block here. It's pretty similar to most blocks, uh, if not all. So it should apply to that and uh, we'll just jump on over and I'll give you guys a few tips and tricks. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So to start, you obviously got to take the block apart. Um, usually they have like an Allen key. They might have a Phillips drive. Sometimes the screws are located on the top and they go through the cold plate or else they go through the cold plate and into the top. Uh, this block is through the cold plate and into the top, so we're going to take these off quick. Alrighty, so now that you got the screws out, the block usually comes apart pretty easily. Here's the actual cold plate itself, then you got the bracket, and then you got your acrylic top. So the bracket's kind of just fine, so we'll set it off to the side. As you can see here, there's an O-ring, and then you got your fin array, and in the top here, sometimes you'll have a jet plate, um, which also might sit on the fin array. So just keep in mind that you gotta keep all those parts uh, together and oriented the same once you put it back together. So for this guy, I am actually going to take out the O-ring and one useful tool for cleaning a block is an X-Acto knife or maybe even a tweezers would work well. And we're going to want to wipe that down. So to clean it, I'm just going to use some distilled water and then I got a little Dawn dish soap here. We'll just put like, honestly, just one little drop in there and that should be plenty. So a toothbrush actually works pretty dang well. So if you have uh, just a new toothbrush sitting around in your drawer or something, or just go get one, um, that's usually what I use. Otherwise, the actual X-Acto knife blade for cleaning the fins is also pretty useful or any razor blade like that. We're just gonna go ahead and just start kind of brushing it just like you brush your teeth. And as you can see, the, the particles and whatnot come out pretty easily. There was some, there's a little bit of gunk in there. We're just gonna make sure that we kind of clean up all of the edges just because sometimes there's oil on the o-rings or from the screws or whatever and they all start to seep out as you can see here there's a little bit on the actual acrylic top that uh, did get a little stain from the oil but that comes right off use the uh, distilled water with the dish soap on the top as well it won't hurt it Otherwise, you guys could use some isopropyl alcohol. Um, I've even heard of some people just using like some lemon juice um, as an acidic cleaner. So you have plenty of options that won't really harm anything, whether or not your block is nickel or copper, or even if you had an aluminum block. So if you did have some particles that were really stuck in the fins, you just want to take your X-Acto knife blade and kind of just go through each of the fins. Depending on how thick your fins are, it, it can be kind of difficult and time consuming, but uh, that's what you do. There's really nothing stuck in there, so I won't be doing that today on it. Other than that though, we're just going to take some, I usually use coffee filters to wipe things down. Um, not so much paper towels or even like Kleenex or anything like that because they can leave lint and particles behind. So we'll just use this coffee filter and we will wipe the O-ring down. And we gotta wipe the blocks down or the pieces of the block. And then we can reassemble it. Okay, so now you've got your block all clean, so now it just takes reassembly, and obviously you're just going to put it back together the same way you took it apart, just backwards.
And just like most heat sink uh, options, you definitely want to tighten these down evenly. So we're just going to get these guys a little bit snug and then uh, go around and tighten them all up evenly as we go. There we go. You got one clean CPU block, or hopefully clean CPU block, and it's ready to be reinstalled on your board. So I know that was a pretty quick and simple guide, so if you guys have any questions on how to clean a CPU block, feel free to leave any of them in the comments below. If you liked what you saw, feel free to like it. Definitely let me know if you think I should make any changes or what other, whatever other content you guys want to see. You can also find us on Discord and Facebook with those links. They'll be in the description too. So definitely do that, subscribe, and we'll be getting out with some more content pretty soon. So I hope to see you all in those videos. And other than that, I hope you all have a great day and happy modding.